In our last video, we discovered Comet, a really fast and clean AI agentic browser. If you're new here and don't know what AI agentic means, I should say that it's a browser powered by AI. You just tell it what you want to do and it automatically does everything for you, such as writing notes, sending emails, shopping, and more. Now, the only thing that might concern you about Comet, despite not being open source, is why should a third party be getting and processing my data? Even though Comet says that they only process website context data through perplexity servers just to get your requests done, they also claim your private stuff like passwords, email, and credit cards stays completely on your device. Nothing stores on their servers, and things like Gmail or calendar access are totally optional. You can turn them off whenever you want. But still, for some people, even that might feel a little sketchy. I mean, it's your data, why should anyone else be touching it at all, right? So that's where browser OS comes in. You might still not want even this level of access. So after two days of posting that video, I came across browser OS, which is similar to Comet. But guess what? It's open source, has a free AI server like Comet, and if you want, you can host AI yourself using Olama, LM Studio, or GPT OSS, which we'll explore. You can also use trusted AIs like Gemini, OpenAI, and more. All these features are built into a Google Chrome based UI and are available on Windows, macOS, and Linux, which weren't supported for Comet users. So you can easily switch and start using it. That was a lot to say, let's get into the video. So first, to download this amazing app, head over to browseros.com and once you got here, enter your email address and now the download links will be available. Download and install and now you're ready to go. First we'll go over the UI, then test agents and more. After the installation process is done, you'll be greeted with a beautiful, simple, and familiar Chrome UI, but with new features. The first new feature is browser OS feedback. So feel free to let them know if anything is there to report. Then there's the AI agent, which we already talked about. So I'll test it soon. Then we've got the LLM chat, which lets you chat online with different AI providers like ChatGPT, Claude, Grok, Gemini, and Perplexity. So there's no extensions needed. Next is the LLM Hub, which is a collection of LLM chats, so you can access all the AIs in one tab and ask them questions to compare responses. You might have seen Chrome extensions for this before, but now you can do it directly in your main browser. Just select which AI you want in each tab and ask for what you need. Also, if you want to minimize open panes, you can click here to reduce them. Next to these are general Chrome settings like creating new profiles and guests, so there is nothing new there. There is nothing particularly special in settings except for browser OS settings, which lets you show or hide text labels in the toolbar. In the search engine section, under Manage Search Engines, you will find built-in options and a very useful site search feature. For example, there's the at sign Gemini, so you just type at sign Gemini and ask for what you want from the AI. It will bring up results super fast. You can add your own site searches too, for instance, at sign YT for YouTube. Just click add, give it a name and the shortcut, and enter the site search URL. You can do this for almost any website that accepts search parameters, and it's super fast. Now that you know about browser OS and how it differs from Google Chrome, let's do some AI agent tasks. For example, I'll ask browser OS that I want to improve my Python knowledge 
using advanced Python documents. Tell me which ones are popular and easy to learn. You can see it searches and finds the best resources to learn advanced Python. AI agent isn't limited to just searching or clicking unknown website. It can do a lot more. If you click on MCPs, you'll see integrations like Google Calendar, Gmail, Sheets, Docs, and Notion. You can sign into your account and ask the AI agent to tell you your meeting times, schedule events, send and read emails, summarize them, and work with Google Sheets, Google Docs, and Notion. For example, I'm going to connect my Notion account. After logging in, it tells you that the AI will have permission to view, edit, and create pages. I selected my pages, and now it's connected. Now I'll ask BrowserOS that in my Notion account, create a document and write about the best tourist places in London. So now just wait a little bit for the AI to process what's going on. Now you can see that it created a new page in my Notion account. Let's check it out. Wow, amazing. First search on the Google for the best places in London, then select the best article and transfer a summary to my Notion account. This is amazing. That's the MCP and the AI agent in action. So now that you see how the browser OS built-in AI works, now let's test it with Olama, which you can self-host. So first install Olama from olama.com. So now that you're here, click on this burger menu and click on downloads. Now, depending on your operating system, click on the one you should and install it. Now that the Olama is installed, head over to Browser OS AI section by entering this URL on your browser tab. Now that you've got here, you can choose your provider. OpenAI, Anthropic, Google Gemini, Olama, Open Router, or a custom provider. So I'll choose Olama. Enter a name for it. Now you need to enter the base URL. If you have Olama on your PC, there is no need to change this. After this, we've got the model ID. You can choose between these models over here. Now that you choose the model ID, you should download it. Search for the model on the Google. And when you're in the Olama model website, copy this and enter it in your terminal to install the model. Now that the model is installed, save your configuration and choose it as your default provider. Now, anything you do with the browser AI, it will use this one that you've chosen here. There's a lot of things you can do with the AI agent. For example, let's say I'm researching a topic like this and I want to know what the top Google websites are saying about it. But I don't want to open them all and read every page. Just open the tabs, then open your AI agent. Now by typing at sign and selecting the tabs, you've given them to the AI. Then simply ask for what you want, something like, I want to summarize research in 10 bullet points. Wait a little bit, and you've got the answers. So you can just chat until you get your answers. So there are these three AI mods available. AI agent, which we just explored. The chat mod, which works based on your web content. We used it for summarization. And the teach mod. This one's new, at least for me, and it's super helpful. So. Let's say you want to open and check the news website you like every morning with a cup in your hand. This might be a little hard and exhausting. Instead of doing this every day, the AI will do that for you. Click on teach new workflow. What you need to do here is record and perform the actions you want AI to repeat. 
Keep in mind that you should speak as you go, move naturally, and stop anytime you're done. So let's start recording. I'm going to open these three news websites, TechCrunch, GeekWire, and TechRadar. I want you to open up all these three websites for me and present their content in clickable bullet points. Now that you're done recording, click on stop recording and let the AI process what you did. It might take a little time depending on what you ask the AI to do. Once it's ready, it will be listed here. You can run or delete it. Let's run and see our workflow. And as you can see, everything I said to the AI is done. And now anytime I want, I will just click on this run button and the AI will do the tasks for me. This was just an example. You can do anything that's on your mind and use the AI for it. And that's today's video. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps my channel grow so I can connect hardworking developers and users together to keep the community alive. If you have any questions, suggestions or needs, let me know in the comments below. See you in the next video.